Hey everyone, this is Brimster and this is number 105 in the Sudoku problem series. This is an anti-knight, anti-king pro um, problem. So uh, all of the digits in the grid, of which there are threes, um, there are two, but there are threes, um, cannot touch another digit of the same type, or in this case, another three, um, if the digit is a king's move or a knight's move away from another three. The goal of this problem is to place all of the threes into the grid. There is a link below to where you can get a copy of this grid so you can try it for yourself. Um, and I'm going to pause for a few seconds so you can pause the video. Um, and then when you unpause the video, I'll be back to explain how this one works. Okay, so there's a couple of different ways of approaching this. Um, I, When I first started doing um, puzzles like this, I used to use a lot of highlighting. Now I tend to use a combination of highlighting and um, pencil marking. Really depends on your style. So when you look at this, the most obvious thing is you've got two threes. So three has to go somewhere into these three cells in box one, except this three sees this cell by king's move and it sees this cell by knight's move. So it can't be in either of those. So this becomes a three. Now, this is where historically what I would have done is I would have done a lot of highlighting, but I'm going to do it with pencil marking instead. Three can't go in those cells because it sees a three. It can't go here because it sees this three by um by king's move and these two cells see this three by knight's move so three has to go into one of those three cells three can't go into those cells because of sudoku can't go into that by king's move from this three and it can't go into those two cells by knight's move from those three so it goes into those so the question now becomes where does three go in this column well it has to go into one of those three cells but that cell sees what those by uh, sees that by Sudoku. Now this cell becomes a problem because this cell sees the two possible cells for three in this box, one by king's move, one by knight's move. So if I put a three here, there is nowhere in this box I can put a three. So that's not a three. Pointing threes here, eliminate three from both of those, and that becomes the three. Now we can see that three has to go into one of these three cells, but it can't be here because of um, knight's move. Now this box becomes quite restrained. Now we can't put three into any of those cells because um, of the given three. We can't put three into either of those two cells because three into either of these three cells would see the um, the three threes here by either king's move or Sudoku. A three here sees both of those three and a three here sees both of those threes. So all of these cells are not able to be three. These two cells are not able to be three because this cell sees this three by Sudoku and that three by Knight's move. So that can't be three and same here. This cell sees that by Sudoku and that by Knight's move. So that can't be three and three has to be in one of those two. Once you've done that, then you can see that this can't be the three. This becomes the three. That looks down and sees that three by a Knight's move. That becomes the three. Sees that by Sudoku. That becomes the three. Now down here, we have to put three into one of those two by Sudoku, but that three sees that by Knight's move, that becomes the three, sees that by Sudoku, that becomes the three, and that is the placement of all of the threes in this grid by anti-knight and anti-king, um, which is also considered to be a partial miracle Sudoku. If it had non-consecutive, this would be a full miracle Sudoku. Um, this is one that um, has been sort of sitting in the back catalogue for a few weeks now. Um, I just haven't been able to record. Um, hopefully you were able to figure that one out for yourself. Um, hopefully the series will return probably not daily. Um, we'll see how it goes, but um, I'll do my best to get more of these videos out for everyone. Hopefully you're enjoying the series. Hopefully you found that one fun. And as always, good luck with your solving.